there, it's Chiyu here from iHeartUmami.com. Welcome to my paleo cooking channel. This week, I'm going to answer a question from an iHeartUmami audience member named Sarah. How to make a pineapple boat? Well, before this channel, I had no idea how to handle an entire pineapple. So I went online and did a little research, and here I share my findings with you. Now, this is only going to be the second time I handle an entire pineapple. If I succeeded, that means you can do it as well. If I failed, well, life goes on. Maybe you could send me a tip or two so I can learn from you as well. So without further ado, how to make a pineapple boat? Let's start. So tip number one, when you select a beautiful pineapple, you want to see a beautiful golden color, orangish color, and you can smell kind of sweetness coming out of the fruit. That means your pineapple is ripe. And another way to tell that is, you know what? If you can put a leaf out, that means the pineapple is ready too. Look at that. So tip number two, you will want to have two different types of knives ready for you. One is a regular chef's knife, make sure you find a very sharp one. The other one is a smaller knife, this will allow us to cut through the meat inside. So, okay. Now, where you wanna find is, you know, I want to, we're going to make a pineapple bowl. So I am not going to completely cut this through the entire thing because the leaf part is too tough. So it looks like we're, you know, you aim at almost at a halfway point to cut the pineapple, but you kind of want to, you know, avoid cutting it entire through this middle part because it's just gonna be really extremely difficult for you to open. So probably you put the incision somewhere toward the middle, but a little bit off the center. So you will slice the fruit off and then leave this entire part intact, okay? All right. Uh, do a second time just to make sure you cut it way down even further. So you will see, and then cut it from the side here to help you separate them. Look! Aha! So now you separate them to see two parts here. You know, in this part without the pineapple head, but in this part you have a head, complete head, then we avoid the top part to cut it through. So you leave a little part here. See that? But this is still about equal size, about half equal size. So now I'm gonna take a small knife and the middle part you want to discard it because it's very tough and very chewy and um, it's not sweet at all. So what you're gonna do is, first of all, you are going to leave probably about half inch to a quarter inch apart away from the entire outer leaf and then you're just gonna insert a small knife try to go a slight angle down and make a circle And then after that, we're gonna cut out this middle part. See, a small knife would be easier to handle than a big chef's knife, right? For this particular part. Okay, and then after that, we're going to try to take the meat out. And some parts, if it's still connected, you can just dig it in a little more. Mm -hmm. 
because you don't want to completely cut through the food and then you you won't be a pineapple bowl to hold whatever you want to hold maybe it's your beverage maybe actually i have a dish i want to show you using the pineapple bowl um so you know you want to leave a little food inside you know as a container right so i'm gonna do the other side Ah, looks like this one is easier. And you can cut the fruit and we can absolutely enjoy it. And looks like, you know what, see, I still have some meat. Maybe I can cut just a little bit more. It takes a little time, but just be careful. You can do it, you can absolutely. If I can do it, you can absolutely do it, okay? Now, this middle part, we are going to try to take it out here. Aha, look at that. And maybe there's some meat here, you know, maybe still you can use it, but the majority of this part you wanna discard it because it's just so tough. It's very fiberish. Now look at that, it still have some meat inside and then take it out if you want, or you can just leave this as it is. I think I'm gonna try to make it more even. Now you have a pineapple boat. You have a perfect container. Now you can put whatever you want inside. And these fruits, this side we cut out, they are absolutely edible. You can slice them, put them into your cocktail. <laughs> or the next dish I'm going to show you. Now I have this beautiful pineapple bowl here, and it also a very sweet mm, and juicy pineapple fruit. What am I gonna do with them? I'm going to show you how to make pineapple fried rice, paleo style. So if you love a delicious pineapple fried rice recipe, be sure to click the link here and also down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my quick tutorial, be sure to subscribe to my channel below where I'll be sharing new videos here every Thursday. Thanks so much. See you. Ciao. Bye.